Okay, RBT competency assessment. Today we're going to, to do prompting. Prompting is something that you're going to do extremely often. Um, so it's important that you know what it is and how to do it. So if you're in a competency assessment and I'm the BCBA, you're the RBT, I might ask you, tell me what a prompt is. Uh, you could say a prompt encourages a client to perform a task. Um, a, prompt, a prompt is a cue or assistance that encourages the performance of a specific skill. Um, you could say a prompt is um, follows the SD and comes before the behavior, okay? So any of those work. Um, it's a cure assistance that encourages the correct response, okay? Um, it's important to note that the prompt happens before the behavior and not after, okay? So, we're, so you're giving your instruction, you're prompting, the response happens, and then you give feedback, okay? We're not prompting after the behavior, okay? Um, I might ask you, give me examples of prompt sequences. You would say most to least prompting, or you could say least to most prompting. Most to least is we're just going from the most intrusive prompts, like a physical prompt, to a least less intrusive prompt, like a verbal prompt. If you're going least to most prompting, you might go from a gesture prompt to a physical prompt. Okay. If I asked you to describe the prompt hierarchy, you would just say it's the order of prompting. Okay. So if we were to describe the heart, describe the hierarchy most to least, you would go physical, modeling, visual, gestural, verbal. You can see how those become less intrusive, most to least, as you go up that hierarchy. Okay. So, um, if I asked you to describe a physical prompt, okay, you might give me a full physical prompt or a partial physical prompt, okay? A full physical prompt is complete hand over hand prompting where you're basically doing the task for the student. So if you say, open the door, you're taking their hand and opening the door for them. Partial physical is you're still making contact with the client, but it's only partial, right? You're not doing the task for them. So if I say open the door, I might just tap their hand or tap their elbow just to prompt them, okay, to reach towards the door. A model prompt, okay, you could give me a full model or a partial model, and it's exactly what it sounds like. You're providing a demonstration, okay, without using physical touch. Um, so if I say, go throw this away, um, if I'm giving a full model of that, I would pick up my trash, walk over to the trash can, throw it in the trash can. I'm modeling that for you, okay? Um, a partial model is I might just pick up my trash and kind of look at the trash can, okay? I'm not modeling the entire sequence, just a part of the sequence, okay? A visual prompt, um, it can include objects, pictures, drawings um, that you use to signal what response you want, okay? Um, so if I ask a student to go to the bathroom, um, I might hold up a picture of a bathroom, okay? Um, if I ask a student to grab an apple, I might hold up a picture of an apple, prompting them to grab the right object, okay? Um, a gestural prompt is a nonverbal prompt that includes pointing, um, you're indicating to them what you want them to do. So the most basic uh, way to explain this is if you have a field of three um, cards, um, let's say A, B, C, and you want them to point to B, a gesture prompt, you would say point to B, and then you would point to B, okay? So you're gesturing to them where you want them to go, okay? Um, going back to our trash can example, if you ask them to throw something away in the trash, you might say, go, say, go throw that away and then point to the trash. So you're using gestures, it's a nonverbal cue, all right? And then finally, a verbal prompt is just a direct spoken prompt, um, just giving an indication of what you want um, that student, student to do, okay? So um, you might say, um, where, where do you want to go? And then they don't respond, so you would give them feedback and you'd say, where do you wanna go? And you say, okay, say I want to go to Target. Okay, so you're verbally prompting them um, using words 
as what you want them to say or do.